There we go. Good? Yeah. Okay. I just can't see myself, because then I'll look. I can see myself. There you go. Yeah, okay. just leave it flat. Okay. Because then I, I can kind of see myself, but not, like... But not really. Not really. Those ticks are a little low. We got little ticks. Yeah, unless we're talking, like... like on it. Yeah. Does it matter? Um... I feel like it's fine. It will... You talk, because it looks like mine are going to come in fine. Uh, so. <laughs> there we go. We just need to get it out. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, what, my what? God. Here, Kelly. I'm here. That's what it is. I like it. Okay, so today yeah. we're going to talk about... Basically, December? Well, we're, <laughs> our main thing that we're going to talk about is our day of hell. Yeah. Our day of hell of traveling. <sighs> I know. I know. We're going to go back there. I know. I yeah. actually got to tell this story twice. So. It's a lot. Good. I was telling Cole about it, and I kept having to go back because I was like, oh, and then this happened. Oh, and then this happened. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. okay, we're going to start at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to start at the beginning. I get up at... At 2 a.m. Yep. 2 a.m. Kyle goes up at 2. I get up at 3. Yes. And everything's packed. Everything's ready to go. And mm -hmm. we, I'm I'm up. I'm up on time. I get in the car, get to Mel's. We get everything in the car. We drive up. No problems. No problems. And then it We starts. enter the airport. We enter <laughs> the airport. A airport. You know, we were in a total of four airports in one okay. day. Okay. Don't get. Don't, How don't, crazy don't, is, is that? Is, but don't get ahead of yourself. Man. Okay. So the plan, the original plan was, yeah. is we would get on the flight, have a layover in L.A. For an hour. For an hour. And then we would go on to Orlando. Yep. And we would be there by 5 p.m. Yep. That was the plan. That that plan did not happen. No, we got there at 5 a.m. Okay. Ahead of yourself <laughs> so. again. Okay. So. We oh, entered, I'm just, just we getting them the ready. I, yeah. Getting them ready for okay. the storm that's coming. So we entered the airport. Yeah. And we get in line to check our bags. Yes, we do. And then Mel sees a sign. I do. I see this sign that says American Airlines, mm -hmm. um, A Advantage members over here. Which she so thought I, she was. I check my card in front of you, remember? I was yep. like, yep. it says American Airlines, says A Advantage. Oh, yeah. Kelly, we get to go over here. We get yeah. to go. Because we're excited. We're like, ooh, we... Mind you, we got uh, PSA, no, TSA pre-check. Yes. So we're, I was like so stoked because I'm like, oh, I get the airline thing and then we're going to mm -hmm. have the TSA thing. Yep. So I was excited. And yep. then, no, no, we go over there and he's like, you're not priority. And I go, well, I'm a Advantage like, card member. Mm -hmm. And he's like, no, that's not the same thing. <laughs> like, Apparently oh. that is not the same thing. And I was like, well, can you help us still? And he's like, no, there's a priority member right behind you. I'm like, OK. And I was like, so he's like, you're going to have to go to the end of the line. And I'm like, oh, my God. OK. Yeah. So we get our stuff we and we stuff. go to the end of the line. Yes, we do. Meanwhile, the douchebag that's at the front of, at the check thing, he helps somebody else. That was not priority. That was not priority. And so. we know this because we heard the conversation. Yes. And I was like, what the fuck? He would and not help me. It only added 10 minutes extra. Yeah. But it, so it was fine. It's fine. It was fine. We go through the line. We get our stuff checked. We get our stuff checked. We're good. Then we go over. To pre-check and we're so excited and I have mm -hmm. this video of, of me asking Melanie how do you how does it feel to be pre-check oh you do I do oh my god I do we yes oh. yes I do and we get up to the front of that line yeah give him our stuff give him our stuff and he scans our our uh uh boarding pass our boarding pass and our ID and says you aren't pre-check no and we're like you're yes. in the wrong line. <laughs> We're like, yes, we are pre-check. We paid for it. We added our numbers. Yeah, we have the numbers. Well, why aren't we pre-check? And he was at least nice and was, was like, just just go through, just go around everybody and just go into a line. Yeah. So we got to do that. We we had to go through like a normal line that they would go through. We just got to so bypass. So we had to take our shoes off. We'd and do our, all the things. Uh, yeah, it was stupid. Well, and mind you, I'm going through security with like two laptops and uh, my iPad. All and of the work things. All the work stuff yeah. is in my backpack. Mm -hmm. Like, 
all the hard drives, mm-hmm. the whole nine. So that's mm-hmm. why, like, we were excited about the TSA pre-check. Was like, you don't oh, have to do that. I don't have to unload this whole thing. Yeah. Um. And so that was what was annoying. Was like, we're like, I have to fucking take all of this shit out, mm-hmm. all of the things. Yes. Yeah. So we went through that, but we were good sports. Went through pretty like smoothly. Yeah. It yeah. Went, fine. went fine. We got through, and we got um, we went to a little market, and we got. Uh, or a little restaurant. Yeah. We got breakfast sandwiches. Though they were delicious. They were great. Yep. And we go and sit down and we're eating our sandwiches and we get on the flight. Everything's good. Everything's on time. And then we get a an announcement. From the pilot. That the <laughs> there was something wrong with our tire Air pressure, pressure. Yep. Our tire, the tire pressure. Yep. And they didn't check that. No. Before. They did not check it, which is weird. And it's a third party. Yeah. That does these pre-check or that does these checks. They have to call them. And they're hoping it'll be quick. Yep. Within a half hour. Mind you, we have an hour to get to our next flight. Yes. Once we land. So we're stressed at that point. We're like, huh, I wonder if we're going to make it. Yes. And we're like, I'm like, I've never missed a flight. It's fine. Yeah. The connecting flight. We're like, it'll be fine. Like yeah. 30 minutes. He said it'll be 30 minutes. Should be good. Yeah. And he came on and right around that time was like, yeah, like we got it. We got the people. Mm-hmm. We're doing the thing. And it was pretty quick. But it was like 45 It was 45 minutes, minutes till we took off. Yeah. So that gave us 15 minutes yes, till our, did. our flight left. Yes, it did. Flight was fine. The flight was great. Yep. It was it was great. We had extra room in front of us because we were in an exit row. Yep. Um. So that was that was, was great cool. because we got extra leg room. Yep. So we got to stretch out. We got to like have our our stuff up. We were watching movies, and then we get to L.A. Yeah, we get to LAX, and it's kind of weird. I've docked there before. I will never like LAX ever again after this experience. after this experience. It's and just it, weird. I, and granted, the majority of it. Was all because of American Airlines. Yeah, it wasn't because it was LAX. It's literally American Airlines. Yes. Everywhere we went, it was American Airlines so, problem. we land. We're sitting on the tarmac. Yeah. For like, what, 10 minutes? Mm-hmm. We finally get off the plane. We're running. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. They make an announcement saying, hey, we have members on the flight that need to get to their connecting yes. flight. Please sit down and wait for these people to go. Yes. Me and Kelly were... Literally, Kelly was second person to get off the plane. Yeah, I was like, no, I was third. I'm, I'm fucking getting off this plane and we're making we're this We're going, flight. we're going. Because what they what they docked us in a spot that is not the normal spot. They have to take us from a shuttle to the actual main air, air, airport. Yes. yes. And we were like, how long is that going to take? We have no idea. Yes. No freaking I clue. I forgot about the fucking shuttle. Yeah. That's how much I blocked oh, out. Oh, the, the, remember the lady yes. at the door? Yeah, she the, lady- would, the lady at the door would not let us out. She wouldn't or have let us walk ahead of her. Well, and the lady that to open the door from the American Airlines wouldn't have a full conversation about why the breakfast wasn't there on the right time. And then she looks behind us and goes, oh, there's people that need to leave. And then she finally let us off the plane. And then the lady that was on the other side of that door decided that we were not allowed to. To, to get in ahead front of her, of her ahead of her. The and person, I've never experienced that. Yeah, she's like, no, you you need to be patient. And the lady was the right behind her was like, hey, we have places to go in like 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. And she didn't care. She did not all. give a shit. Nope, not so, two shits. Then we're running. Yep. To get to the shuttle. shuttle. To take the shuttle to the correct terminal. Terminal. Yeah. So we do that. And mind you, we're waiting in line for the shuttle. And there are three American Airline people standing in front of us, standing around, having a fucking hell of a time, just having whatever conversation pops into their head. And we're all stressed. Well, and the people with us were like, is this even the right spot? Yeah. Nobody was like, hey, are you guys here for the shuttle? Yeah, like nothing. that that could have been your job. <laughs> or it um, probably was. It probably was. <laughs> um, so then we. I asked, actually. You did at I one asked. point. Because I was like, I don't know if I was this like, is the I correct. I think this is the right area. Yeah. I'm going to ask these ladies yes. and Jets. And, they were uh, very they, rude. They were very, very rude. Had attitude with it. Like, it will be here. Yeah. This is the right spot. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. So we get on. We get on. It was very quick. The very guy quick. was nice that drove the mm-hmm. shuttle. Yep. Um, We get to the place that our flight was supposed to leave out of. And we missed it. And it was right around the corner, too. It was right around the corner. Yeah. Yep. And so I go up to the lady that's at the front desk Mm -hmm. and I say, hey, we were supposed to be on that flight. 
we missed it because the other line, the other flight got delayed. Yeah. What can we do? She legit looks at me and goes, I don't really work at this desk, so I don't know. You'll have to go talk to her and points to this other lady. Yes. And I'm like, okay, bitch. I just missed a flight well, for and, the first time in my life. And that her was like feet away. Yeah. Like we have to like, it's a jaunt. Yeah. To go. So we go. We go. We, we get wait in line. In another line. Yes, we do. And the lady, we get up there and the lady tells us that it, this is not the line to be in. And so I was very <laughs> blunt with her. And I was like, well, you may want to share that information with that lady <laughs> because she's not on the same page. Yeah. Because uh, she told us to come over here because you would help us. Yeah. So now where do we go? So she gave us very detailed instructions on to go. Guys, it's to another far line. away. It was though. far. It was like several different floors. It is like a whole different terminal. It was dumb. We were going from B to A. Like it was, it, it was, was, it was, was a while. Dumb. It was a jaunt over there. But it's a glass box. <laughs> yeah. That we walk into. I forgot, yeah. And there is a huge line. So many people. So like many people. 20 that to 30 people. Their flights yeah. and need other ones. So yeah. we're standing there and we're like inching forward. And I'm not sure if anybody ever actually left the line. I think it was just people being like, come on. Just want to like slowly move forward. Let's figure this out. (laughs) So we're waiting in line. Mel goes to the bathroom. I go to the bathroom. And the the line is not fucking moving. Mm -mm. So I was like, Like two people we've moved. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, hey, Mel, call American Airlines. And just like, even if you're online, like Mm -hmm. on hold the whole time that we're in line, at least we're making some kind of progress. Right. So she calls. I do. And we get John James, Keith. James, James Keith. Keith. James Keith. We love you, James Keith. We love James Keith, yes, except for certain aspects. <laughs> so then Mel talks to him. I do. I tell him the full situation of what just happened. And he's like, oh, no. And I was like, yeah, I need to get to Florida tonight. Me and my partner are together. So I called you my partner, by the way. <laughs> okay, apparently we're partners. I go, me and my partner are together. And we have, um, we're going to be facilitating like an, a meeting. Mm-hmm. tomorrow we have to be in florida tonight because mm-hmm. it's early morning and granted there were no flights to Mm-mm. orlando there was zero flights LAX. yeah none not happening so he goes how willing are you to leave the airport and go to a different airport and i go i don't give two shits like if i if it means i get to florida tonight mm-hmm. i'll do it yep. like let me know what we're doing and he's like yep. okay well let me place you on hold i'm gonna there's another airport that might be able to get you there today um but i'm gonna see what i can do all right, cool. Tell Kella all the things. So we're still waiting in this this long lying. ass line that's not it's not moving. That like I don't even think we moved yet. And oh, for that one. And then while Mel's on the phone, some lady that works for American Airlines. Oh, that little decides, lady. Yeah, decides that we're not in the correct formation. <laughs> yeah, she, of line. She made us this. So <laughs> we were like this, and we needed to move like this. Yeah, like everybody made it like a snake because that's what everything was forward of us. Like mm-hmm. we understood the line. Yeah, we were, us adults. Like there was yeah. two lines that were forming, and it was fine. Yeah, and she was like, "Nope, y'all's got to move." Nope. And I'm just looking at Kelly on the phone, like, "What are we doing?" Yeah, and I, we <laughs> have the carry on or. Did I have my carry on at that point? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had both carry ons, and I had the garment bag. Yes. Yeah. And so we had to shift everything. Yep. Um, and people were highly confused on where to stand in line. I know someone did try to cut in front yes. of us, and I was like, "No." Yep. We're like, "We're mm. with her. That's a girl that's been in front of yeah. us this whole time." Yes. No. Yeah. We're like, "She's no, our girl." We'll go back to the end of the We've line. We've had conversations. Yes. This is not. We are in this hell together. Yeah. So then the James Keith kept checking back. Yes, he did. Because it took about, I don't know, like, what, five, maybe ten minutes? Yeah, it wasn't Total. long. It wasn't it too wasn't, long. It wasn't awful. But he was like, okay, I think I can get you to Miami. And I go, okay. And I was like, what time is that? And she says Miami, so I'm Googling how far is Miami we, from Orlando. Because yep, I, I have no I fucking idea. We both have no clue. We're like, yeah. that could be really close or really far. Yeah. <laughs> Which it was three hours, and three hours is nothing when you're like, trying to get someplace no, like, not we're at like all. we let's just let us do it ourselves well because at me first do it. i thought that was actually going to be the option he was like i can get you to miami and then you um i was thinking like oh i can just drive from there and he's like actually there is a connecting flight mm-hmm. you just have is you have 30 minutes mm-hmm. to get 20 it was 20 minutes it was 20 minutes you know you have 20 minutes from landing to get on the next plane mm-hmm. and i was like 
Okay. But we had a backup we're gonna, plan. We're going to chance this. Yeah. Because our backup plan is, okay, we have a rental. Mm-hmm. We'll move the rental to Miami if we have to, mm-hmm. and we'll just fucking drive. Yeah. Whatever it works. He's like, you're going to get in at Miami at 1030 p.m. there, like Eastern time. Yes. I was like, okay, let's do this shit. Mm-hmm. So he plays me on hold, and he does all the things and works it all up, and we get to go at 2.55 in the afternoon. Now, granted, we flew in there. Mm-hmm. We got there at like 9.30. Yes. Yeah. 9.30. So we're not going to fly out till 2.55 p.m. Mm-hmm. And I go, okay, well, what do we do about our luggage? And no, I said, what about the bags? Oh, and yeah. And we're like, oh, what do we do, we do about, about the, the bags? bags? Yeah. Because that was my thing is like, what do we, like, they're going to Orlando. Yeah, So if we're how? flying into Miami, we need to know. Where to get our shit at. Yeah. Yeah. Because all of our shit is in these bags. All of our shit. Yeah. What was on us these bags. was legit. I, like I can't stress that enough. <laughs> My pills are in, in my suitcase because yes. I expected my suitcase to be with me. Yeah. We we, we have learned from this experience where that's just going to come with you at all times. Yes. And normally. They are. Normally they? they do. They're in my carry-on. And for whatever reason, I'm like, oh, it's fine. I'll just put it in my check bag. It's fine. You jinxed us. It's fine. You're like, it's fine. I never have a problem. I We're just going to put them in our check bag. Yeah, we'll just put it in the check bag. It's fine. It always gets there. Yeah. So, I mean, I asked. Kelly goes, we should ask. I'm like, very valid point. Let's do this shit. He's like, go get your bags mm-hmm. at the bag terminal. And then go ahead and go to the gate and should get them checked in there. Yeah. Just, they'll check them for you. They'll check him for you. You've already paid. He does. He's like, you already did the thing. You shouldn't have to do anything else. Yes. Awesome. So we get off the phone. I get the confirmation email. We do the things. And then we are like, okay, baggage claim, though. Like, it's an exit. 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 Yeah. We're we're leaving the airport. And we're both like, "Mm, I don't know if we should leave. This feels real weird. we didn't have our boarding boarding passes at that point. It was not coming up on our phones. Mm -mm. Because we were still technically on the flight that left. Yeah, it like wasn't updating. Like all I got was the confirmation email. So I'm like, I don't know if this is gonna cut it. So we were like asking people, like yep. random people that I don't even think they knew what the fuck we were talking about. No. But they just kept passing us along. They were like, It's fine, go get your bags, you'll go back through TSA. Yeah. We're it's like essentially what we were told. We we're like, okay, cool. Not yeah. a big problem. So we go go to the baggage claim. And then we get another bitch. An attitude too. Oh, like w- bitch to the nth. Inf- Uh, It It was was, she was such a bitch. It was weird because like we didn't come like we didn't act like bitchy to her. No, we were just like, hey, this is what's happening. Yeah. Our flight got delayed. So we missed our second flight. We have a new flight. They told us to come get our bags so that we could take it to the gate and they check it. And we have our bag tags. Here's our bag. We even gave her our bag tags. Yeah, we we kept. Thank God we kept. I know. I know. So then she starts blathering about some. About how they're going to have to go get our bags. Well, that's a kind of your fucking job. Oh, I know. I don't even remember what she asked for me to be like, why? I just remember saying why so loud. I was so angry. I was like, why? And then she Mm -hmm. started saying like some like, um, what are those when you do like the letters? Like they mean something. Yeah, It was like a confirmation code or like it was just numbers. Yeah, she's like just 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 saying numbers. And and I go, I don't know what that means. Yeah. And I was like, (laughs) okay, Mel's going to go off to the side because she's going to lose our bags. So I was trying to be nice to this lady. And I was like, that's we just need our bags. We just need our bags. So she's like. She gets on the phone or she goes into the back or something. I don't even know. um, And is like, okay, your bags are going to come out of that thing. And we're like, which is the baggage, the baggage carousel. Yeah, the carousel so yeah. we go over there. 40 minutes later, I get my bag. Kelly's bag's there. There's no bell bag. We wait for like five minutes. We're like, that's maybe he's just like coming, whatever. He, they have to find it. Yeah. Why not? So Mel goes over. To the mean lady. To the mean lady. <laughs> and asks for Oh my bag. God. That was like hilarious too when I walk over. Because I'm like smiling. like, so Kelly got her bag. The one that's the floral-ish looking. I did not get my bag out. Yeah. And she's like, oh. And I give her the thing again. Like the bag tag. Mm-hmm. And she's like calls up. And she's like, it's coming now. And I was like, is it going to be down the one or number two? And she's like, it's going to be the number one. <laughs> <laughs> so Mel comes back to me. Tell her what's up. I'm I'm like, okay, it's fine. So I end up sitting. Oh, and this is after I have Mel has a video of me. I do. I saw it yesterday. Through the airport on my the luggage. On my luggage. Yep. Um 
I wasn't flying through the airport. I was definitely rolling in front of the baggage. Yeah. Because it was just comical at that point. Well, that's the one thing I will say about us. We handle this with stride. Like yeah. we were chill. We were making jokes. We were just if like. If any of the boys had been there, it would have been oh, hell. hell. Like this was already hell, but this was like the bottom level of hell if mm-hmm. they had been there. Like, oh, it totally. It would have been so stressful. Because like we were just like, shit was just happening to us and we were just like, okay, this is where we go. This yep. is just what we're we just, do. We're just rolling with the and punches. And we're laughing because we're like, holy shit, this is ridiculous. Yeah, this is happening. Yep, this, this is happening right really now. really happening. I mean, I get my bag, guys. Yep, she gets her bag. I was so excited when I saw it. And then we go over to the little escalator that is supposed to go up to the TSA. Pre- check, yeah, the, the, check. the bag Secur- check or the security. Yep. So we go, we start to go and the guy's like, wait, what are you, what are you guys doing? And so we explain to him, like, we don't have our, our boarding pass because of blah, 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 mm-hmm. blah. And this is what we have. And we we need to go to our, our gate to check our bags. Yep. He's like, that's not typically how we do things. But if that's what they told you, go ahead. So we go up the escalator. Yes, we do. And then we get stopped by a lady. <laughs> and she she was nice. She was nice. Least. She was nice. But she informed us that we could not go through TSA with big bags. Yeah, she's like, not check bags. And she's we like, like, you cannot do that. And we're like, what? And she's like, not check bags. There's no way. They're she's not going like, to let you through anything. Let you know. Yeah, because it doesn't fit through their stuff. Yeah, and it makes sense because, like, they have no idea what we have done from when we picked it up to when we go check it again. Exactly. And we have liquid in there. Yes. Like, we have plenty. Like, I have shampoo, conditioner, lotion, like, yeah. well over the amount that you're allowed to have on a plane, like, yes. when you do a carry-on. Which, it makes sense now, but then we, we were, were like, like, this uh, is what we were told to do. Yeah. Um, so then we go back, back down the little escalator <laughs> and I'm like this to the guy, like, don't like, look at me. I know that you were right, like the but walk don't, of shame, don't wasn't look it? at me. Yes. <laughs> so so then we get in the check bag line. Yep. Which is also long. Really long. Really long. And we're waiting and waiting. And then this other guy comes up to us and says, do you have fireworks or firearms in your bags? <laughs> Well, yes. Like, yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, we both looked at like, no, no yeah, way do we, we have that. And he's like, okay, go over there. So we're like, okay, okay. cool. So we go over there. Because it's, it's a, a self. It's a self-check yeah. bag thing. So you put it all in and then you throw it on the little thing. Yeah. What does it do for us though, Cal? It gets us sent back to the other line. <laughs> like legit, guys. Okay, so I type all the things in. Yep. And it printed and it prints a receipt saying, please go talk to an assistant. Yep. So we snag <laughs> this lady and yeah, she tells thank us. Thank you, Kelly, for that. Because I was like, yeah, I'm dying right I know. now. And so she's like, you have to go back to the other line. I'm like, here's the thing though. We've already been in that line and we were told to come to this line. Yeah. And she's like, okay, hold on. So she, walked she us walks over. this over and I'm like, OK, cool. She's going to put us up in the front. Like, no, nope. no. She takes us to the back of the line. No, she totally does. Back of the line. Yep. What the fuck, lady? So then we're waiting in this line mm-hmm. for a while, forever, forever. Like by the, time, by the time we got to like where there's just like two people in front of us, it's been over an hour. So from the time that we walk to get our bags to the time that we finally get to the front of the line, it it was like two hours. It's been like two hours. Yes. Yeah. And we had people pissed in the front of this line. Mm -hmm. They were yelling. Oh, totally. They had, I, they, I swear they almost made one girl cry. Yeah. There was security. Something was happening. We have no idea. Yeah. I was was trying. There was was someone at every, every lane. But something bad was happening on every lane. lane. And nobody was actually doing anything. Yeah. Like, there was no typing. It was just talking. Yeah. And we're like, okay, we're used to PDX where they're like, we don't care about your life story. No, we don't. Put your bag on the fucking weight. Like, (gasps) let's get you going. Yeah. We made friends with the guy in front of us. Yeah. He's he's from from Trinidad. Yes. Yep. And he's going to have to, he's going to have to stay overnight in in North Carolina airport because of American Airlines. Yep. Yep. Um, And the guy in front of him was just like, I'm really confused. There's like open lanes now but no one's calling anybody and i go if that happens when me and this girl goes up there we're going straight to the front like i don't even care yeah i don't care if they call me over do the little hand movement i'm going yep i'm tired of saying yes and 
there was a guy and he was doing stuff. Like he was, yeah. he was getting people. It's, he was the only reason that line was moving. It's like he was like the manager or trainer or something. Something. So, and then there was these two girls and you could tell they didn't know what the fuck they were doing. And Kelly instantly was like, I don't want to go in their line. And I go, I don't know. I don't want to go in their line either. Yeah, and like, then the, the good guy opened up. Yep. And I was like, oh, we Ooh. may get him. What the hell? And then, no, we get the two bitches. <laughs> we get the do no brain bitches. Yeah, we get the trainer and trainee. Yes. is what we get. So then we walk up there mm-hmm. and we tell them what's going on. And we're like, we're not paying for these bags again. Nope. And so then we're getting these things done. And this lady. The senior lady. Gets on her little computer <laughs> and looks up. Because we also need boarding passes. Yes, we do. So she looks up our our flight information God. and informs us we're not going to make our next. She's flight. like, literally, guys, just type it up. You're not going to make the next flight. It's not going. I'm going to see what you can do. I'm like, don't touch it. Yep. We were both like, do don't. not touch our flights. Check our fucking back. I go. I have to. We have to be there tonight. And she's like, oh, I don't know. And I go, no, 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 no. Don't touch the stuff. We're going to risk it because. Yeah. This is the best option we have. And, and literally then she starts saying it over and over, over again. and oh, over. This is yeah, this is it's a good thing you're going with this option because it's a best. It's the best one you have. Well, thank you. Yeah, we thank know. You, Denise. We know, thank you. James. James Keith already got us the best yeah. option there was. Yes. So then she says they're checking our bags and she yeah. goes, hmm, I, I don't know why they didn't just transfer your bags. Guys. When she said that, I thought I was going to lose I my saw shit. fucking red. I was like, are you fucking kidding me, Denise? Did you actually just say that? Yeah. I don't know why they transfer. I go, that's a great question. Yeah. Wish we had known that before we just spent two hours in this I, line. I normally am chill and I'm like almost to my breaking point. Yeah. I literally go like, that would have been great to know. We just stand in this line for an hour and a half. Not trying to be rude to, rude to you, but this is ridiculous. Yeah. This is insane. I'm not trying to be mean. So they got us done real quick. They go, go. We need to let them go. We need to let yes. them go. <laughs> yes. Because we were going to fucking punch Denise in her face. Yeah. So then yeah. we get them checked. Mm-hmm. We get boarding passes. Wait, hold on. She also looks at Kelly's bag and goes, no one paid for this bag. Remember? And I oh, go, I, I must have spaced that. In PDX. Yeah. 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 She's like, no, you guys didn't pay for this bag. And PDX, I go, I don't have to. And she's like, what? And I go, I have an American Airlines card. We both get one free bag mm-hmm. for anybody that's with me. And she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. And just tags your mm-hmm. shit. Cause I was like, we're not doing this yes. right now. Oh, and not to mention, not to mention, while we're waiting in that hour and a half line mm-hmm. of bag check, we are Facebook messaging TSA. 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 <laughs> To get our pre-check out. Yeah, we are. Okay, what <laughs> world do we live in that I can message TSA on Facebook? Yep. But they don't know to just transfer our fucking bags. Yeah, it was nuts, guys, because TSA on Facebook Messenger will hook you up. We were they able will. to fix our pre-check to where the next boarding, which is what we were about to do, mm-hmm. was going to have the little check mark. Yep. And when she printed that, it had, it it. had the check mark. We're like, yeah. yeah. So they win for the day. We were very excited. Yes. Yes. We We finally got to use our pre-check that we already paid for. Mind you, Melanie was supposed to sign on for work hours ago. (laughs) Hours. Hours ago. Just to, you know, check in, get little things done and like sign Mm. off for a little bit. Didn't get to do any of that. Okay. So we're stressed about travel. Mm -hmm. Mel's stressed about work. Yep. So we get through and we're like, let's go through TSA. Yeah. Let's get through there. We'll sit down. We'll find somewhere mm-hmm. that she can log on. Yep. Get something to eat because we hadn't eaten, we eaten since now. breakfast yep. at 4 a.m. Mm-hmm. So we get through. Everything's good because we don't have to take anything yeah, out of our Yeah, it worked, bags. guys. No, oh it's God. so amazing. Guys, it's $85 for $80 like for something like eight what? Years. Eight years. It's $10 a year. Do it, guys, Do if it. you can. It, it is it. so worth it. You don't take anything out of your it's, fucking bag. I can't describe to you how much it's you worth You literally it. take off your backpack, your purse and shit, and it goes through the thing and you just walk through the shit. And then you pick up your bag and stuff and you go to your gate. Yeah. And P.S. You can get your... Uh, E cigarettes or vape pens right through, and they yep. don't give two shits. Nope. So then we find a restaurant, and we're we like, do. "Okay, this this looks good. Let's sit." And we even we, got like a booth. We got a little booth. I told the guy, I was like, "Hey, we need a bigger table. She's got to log on for work. I've got yep. a few things I got to do. So if we could get a bigger table, that'd be great." Gets us bigger table. We sit down. Mm-hmm. We both order mimosas. Yes, we do. 
and we get something to eat. I they, lo- I'm like trying to log on. Yeah. They had the worst menu I have ever seen in like, my entire fucking what life. What was that? It was like five items. It, yeah. It was stupid. Stupid. We're used to, again, PDX that has an abundance of food options in the middle of the day. Yeah. So. Guys, we, it's like afternoon. Yeah. It's like, at, no, it's 1230. I remember because I sent my boss a message on at 1230 at 1230 and it wouldn't go through oh yeah because yeah, yeah, yeah. it kept giving me the exclamation point circle thing and it was like not happening yeah i could sign on guess what guys to everything else except for the messenger and the little thing i have to do work on all because of the interference yeah in the fucking airport yes so like I'm like, oh, I'm on. It's fine. Whatever. And I can't I can only do half my job. Yeah. I was like, I gave up. I was yeah. like, we're drinking these fucking mimosas. We're going to fucking eat this stupidly expensive food. Yeah. Because that's the other thing is we paid $18 oh my God. a piece for mimosas that were not bottomless. And our no. food. What was our bill? It was like something Stupidly, ridiculous, like, like 70 or $80. We're like, what? We literally had two turkey sandwiches and two mimosas. Yes. That's all we That's had. all we had. So. So we get we that eat, done. We pay. We do. It, it is what it is. And we get to our our yeah. gate with an hour to ch- spare. Yes, we do. We we're not leaving that to chance. We were very excited about that. Yes. Yeah. And then we find out as we get on to the, the, the flight. Yeah. That we are on one of the big flights, the Airbuses. The Airbus. Like a, like a big old Airbus. Yes. I've never been on one before. Yeah. Like. The middle row is like four people. Yeah, they like they are sleeping. They have the little nooks and shit. Yeah, like, we got footrests. Like yeah. thank you, James Keith again. I never us knew up. that I would want footrests, and that's a game changer. Yes, I will. I don't want to fly without a footrest. They're really cool. Like yeah. that really helps during the flight. And, and your oh. seat leans back more. We were on this flight for four hours, four and a half. Hours. I wish it had been the whole day. I mean, for real. I would have spent 20 hours in that flight. Totally if I fine. Could just Because you can a- get up and move around. And their bathroom was big. Massive. It had a full length mirror. Yeah. yeah. Kelly like, goes. <laughs> that's so funny. Like, Kelly goes to the bathroom first. And she was like, there's a full length mirror in there. I'm like, what? Yeah. No fucking way. Yeah. What What plane do you know of? And I was like, are we allowed to go to that bathroom? Because like, we were. I don't care because I'm going. We're one row away from first class. So yeah. I was like. Are we even allowed to do this they, shit? They gave first class like full meals. You had yes. dessert, like mm-hmm. fresh baked cookies. Oh, they had blankets and hot tails. And I asked hot, for hot tails. Hot, hot tails. Hot, hot, hot tails. Ta- it's <laughs> got me some hot tails. These, this uh, mimosa is uh, getting to me a little bit. Okay. We're going to have some hot tails. Hot tails. And guess what? Your girl asked why Kelly was in the uh, pooper. But <laughs> um, I was not pooping. I was she peeing. wasn't. There's no way. I don't know how anybody can poop on a plane. Like, <laughs> I feel like if you have to go hard enough. I don't know. I've never had to go that hard. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. But anyways. So, but why she was going to ask for a blanket and they told me, uh, no, <laughs> that's not happening. Yes. And I was like, fuck. It's but so we brought our cold. OSLP blankets yes, yes. and Mel didn't want to get hers. And so I shared mine with her. Yes. She was very kind because mine was in the garment bag, which was like folded and in an awkward position yeah, in the like, overhead no, compartment. You're not getting that out. So <laughs> share mine. I literally literally like, how hard is it to get my blue okay, blanket and I was like, out? pretty hard. So <laughs> like, we're going to just share. And it worked perfectly. It, it did. Totally did. We both yeah. had sleep. It was a great flight. Everything was great. Mm-hmm. We even like had hot tea flowing. Oh, yeah. Like they were just giving were us hot tea. Fucking awesome with yeah. that. So then we're mm-hmm. looking at the flight and I'm like, this this uh next gate we're supposed to be at is pretty far away. Pretty yeah, we start we start we're panicking a little we're bit. We're starting to look at the logistics of our next flight. Yes. Kelly's pulling all the things up. Yep. And I pulled up the map and I was like, mm, mm. I don't know if this is gonna work. Yep. But we we went with it. Yes. You even asked the stewardess. Yeah. And goes I like, said, hey. how far is this gate from where we're landing in? And mm-hmm. she even went and asked and called. Yes, she did. To see what gate. And she was like, oh, it got moved. It did get moved. And so it was the next gate. Yeah. So it's be really close. So we're like, cool. Well, we're good. We're yep. good. And we tell her what flight we're trying to be on. And she's like. This is going to be hard, but we let's see if we can do this. Yeah. Like, and she even came back to let us know, like, hey, we're going to like dock at like 
I don't know. It was like, it was 20 minutes before. Mm -hmm. She's like, you might be able to make this. Yes. And we're like, awesome. I like you. She does the announcement. Same thing. Everybody sit your ass in your seats while these people get off the flight. Yeah. We have a few people that need to get off the flight immediately. Yes. So we're running. Well, no, what's funny is like it docks. It does the thing. And so me and Kelly go. Remember? Oh, yeah. 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 We like. I was like, go, ball go, it, go, go. go. I grabbed so I just all go. Our shit. I like pulled down the thing, was mm-hmm. pulling all of her stuff out. I was throwing shit at Mel. And, and then they tell us to go sit back this down. This lady, as because I'm first, she's like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I was like, what? And she's like, you know, you have to go back to your seat. You have to go back to your seat. Because apparently we were still ta- on the taxi. Thing. And I was like, um, but we need to get on the plane. She's like, you need to go sit down. Like, she's oh, like, we're shit. not even at the door yet. I'm like, and fuck. I was like, damn it. So we go sit down. Yeah. And we got all our stuff. And so yeah. we're ready to go. It docks finally. Yeah, everybody's talking too. Like they're like, and "What's going on?" We looked at the flight, mm-hmm. and it said it left yeah. ten minutes prior. But we're like, "No, no, they wouldn't do that." No, so, they know we're coming. Yeah, they yeah. have to know we're not on the we're not on the flight. Yeah, this flight isn't here yet, mm-hmm. so they have to know. They do not know. Just to clarify, they do not know that we're not on there. Well, because it was supposed to leave at ten fifty two. And it was only 1030. So we're like, there's no way. Yeah. This, this yeah. update's a joke. Yep. So I grab it. I am mm-hmm. running. Yeah, I don't I, think I've ever run that fast in my life. She was like fucking hauling and I had to stop. I was like, I have, because I had like my purse, backpack, and garment bag on me. I was like, nope. I like, nope. I got like halfway and I saw you go and I was like, I'm just going to let her go. Cause yep. like if she can, can get there, I, if I can stop them, yeah, that's she, all I care about. And that's what's going on in my head. I'm yeah. like, she can stop them. If she stops them, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. I'm yep. just going to walk really fast and then jog when I can. Yep. And, and then there was this circle part in the airport, and I didn't know which way to go because apparently it is not right next door to ours. It's not. So I am running. We find it. Everything's dark. Yeah, and there the was the plane a, was right there though. There was a teenager on the crying. phone with her mother crying, being like, "I can see the plane. It's right there, but they won't let me on. And what do I do?" And we're like, "What? That can't be our flight." And then it yep. is our flight. Yep, it's our flight. And we're just like, we just collapse so legit guys um it left 10 minutes early like it's not boarding 10 it's minutes not early boarding. and yep. shut and like literally shut the doors mm-hmm. and the whole thing we can yep. see the plane mm-hmm. and there's no workers in sight and i've been on planes where they keep that door open until the exact moment they're supposed to leave yeah me too because people have delayed flights yeah well, I mean, it's a customer service thing. You think you'd want your people on the flights that they're supposed to be on. Yes. And I think there should be a 10. I think there should be a 15 to 20 minute window at all times. At least five. Give us five. Something. We were two <gasps> minutes. No, we were on time. That's what made me remember. That's what like broke me yes. was because we got there literally to the minute on time and they left 10 minutes early. They like shut everything down 10 minutes early. Yeah, because they were sitting there. We could see them. Yeah. Because that's was like, oh, this is a problem. Yep. And we literally, like she said, we collapse in the middle. We just, everything dropped. just, like, there was no energy left in us. Yep. I was like, we have now missed our second flight mm-hmm. all in the same day. Because now we're in Miami. We're in Florida. We're in Florida. We're in Miami. God. So then we're like, okay, let's get up. Let's go to the air or the rental. car rental. Let's get our car. Yeah, I was like, call them. We got to call them. So I just couldn't function. I was like, I don't know what was happening. I was just like angry and like annoyed, but then couldn't talk. And I was like, you're going to have to do this for yeah, a second, which is fine. I was like, here, we made it happen. And like, I even turned on the confirmation. I was like, this is what's happening. Yeah, here's so the called. They said it was fine. <laughs> so we're like, OK, cool. Let's go. So then we get to another shuttle. Yeah. And there All was a the glass, fucking shuttles. There was a glass thing that that separated where you walk and the stairs. Mm hmm. And mind, mind you, it's like 1130 at night now. Yeah. Yeah. It was like 1130. It's 1130 at night and we've yep. been up really. Are you two o'clock? I'm three o'clock. Yep. And I call Eric finally because he's we've like. we've been in two different time zones. Mm-hmm. And so. Three different airports. And Eric's yeah. like, what is going on? So I call him and I just broke because he's like, are you okay? And I'm like, no. No, not okay. I'm not going to act like I'm okay. This is mm-hmm. not okay. This is bullshit. There's these things that are happening, and I see this glass fucking wall, and I want to fucking break it. And I was like, don't break the wall. It didn't do anything mean to you. It's not its fault. It's true story. She did say that. She and did so that. And I, I didn't break it. Then we I did a really, video. really wanted to. We did a video. We did do a video. 
And it's a good one. It is a really good it's one. Good and one. we may still release it on TikTok <laughs> because seriously, I was so mad. I was so fucking angry. So we so get on the, the shuttle, we sit down. It takes us. We were hoping we, we were, were going in the right direction. Because we're like, I don't there know. There was no signage. Mm-mm. There was no signage in the shuttle, outside of the shuttle. We had no idea what we're, where we were going. We like double checked. I'm not going to lie. Like we looked around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we used our eyeballs yeah. and <laughs> there was nothing. So thank God we went in the right direction. We did. We go down to the car rental place and Mel's like, just so you know, if they offer us anything extra, I will punch them. Yeah, because like, you know, they ask you for the extra liability. They want the like the the e-pass for the tolls. They want all Which these fucking we things. We found out that we did need. But we did need. Oh, fine. I got the bill that I forgot to tell you yesterday. I got to tell you that. that. I'll tell you that oh, when we get to that point. So yay. that's cool. Okay. <laughs> So then we, uh, oh, I don't want to know now. You just take care of that. I don't need to know. I mean, we Um, can take care of it. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. So like I tell her that because I'm like, hey, I work for Progressive. Guys, if you have full coverage, you do not need to purchase their fucking rental insurance. 100%. You do not need to do that. I take claims all the time where people have a budget rental and guess what? They had full coverage. So then it covers the rental. So and the guy went to ask us and I go, no, 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 no. And he's like, so you're going to be liable? Sure. I have progressive. I work for progressive. It's fine. And yeah. he's like, OK, okay then. <laughs> and so he didn't offer us anything. Mm-mm. Nothing. was bare minimum. Oh, it was so funny when he pulls out the little like map looking thing of cars that you could pick. Right. And he's like, so you're OK with this one? Yeah, totally fine with that one. Yeah, we don't care. I don't care. Yeah, we got to go. We did not care about what car we we're, were driving. in Would Miami be- at midnight. We got to go to yeah. Orlando. <laughs> Would it be nice to have a high end car for driving? Of course. Do we care at midnight after traveling all fucking day? No, I love it because Kelly's like. You know, it would be nice to have one of these exotic cars. I'm like, yeah. And then they would tell, and right in front of my, then they would tell you, hey, you didn't get here on time. <laughs> so this car is gone. <laughs> true. That's Guess a true what? story. That is a true story. <laughs> true so story. he gives us the paperwork. He does. We go down we to do. the, um, I think it was like two floors down yeah. in the parkade. And then the guy was really fucking weird. Really weird, guys. And he was, I don't know what he was on, but he was clearly smoking something. And, he like goes, he walks us. Yeah. He like kept coughing in his hand and looking back at us weirdly. Yeah. And being like, it's over here. And we're just like, I fucking hope so. <laughs> yeah. If you murder us, oh. that's going to be a, the icing on top. Right. So we get to there and he's like, pick from any of these cars. And we're like, okay, okay. cool. So then we pick the car and Mel does her little the video, video of the whole of car. The car. So they're, we're not liable for any damage that they Anybody else does to it. Yep. So then we get in the car and Mel's like, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to drive because of my night blindness. I'm like, it's totally fine. I drive like about a hell. We'll get there. Yeah. So Mm -hmm. we get in the car, we get out of the garage and we go. We go. We get right onto the freeway Mm -hmm. and we're just like, okay, three hours. Boom. Let's do this. Yep. So I drive for, oh, and then we're driving for about 20 minutes and then a torrential downpour happens. Oh, my God, And we God, live guys. in fucking Oregon. So, like, we're used to this. But this is, like, I couldn't insane. See. I couldn't see at all. I literally look over, like, are you okay? She's like, I can't see nothing. Can't see anything. And I go, okay, well, then let's slow down. And I'm and, like, I'm going 30. And I go, is this the fastest that the uh, winter wipers can go? She's like, yes, it is. Yeah. I'm like, oh, yep. shit. We're yep. fucked. So I'm going 30. Yeah. Eventually it passes. It does. And I'm like, okay, cool. Let's go. So okay. we go. We get to about an hour and a half in and Mel's like, you know what? I can drive from here. Like, I'll take the last shift. Yeah. I'm like, okay, cool. Let's stop it. We stopped at 7-Eleven, put gas in the car. I got some coffee. Wrong move on my part. I will totally admit that. Um, I grabbed a donut. You did actually two donuts. <laughs> two donuts. One yeah. got, I mean, one got, they both got smashed, but I ate one before the other one got yes. smashed. Yes, you it did. It was great. Yeah. So Mel drives. Yep. Did great. We put in the stuff for the hotel. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. First. Orlando. You forgot about our bags, didn't you guys? <laughs> we didn't. We did it. We're so like, we need that shit. We drive to Orlando Airport. Yes, because that's where our stuff says it's at. It says it's yes. there. So that's where we go. So we go there. We park. Mm-hmm. We go in. Pay for parking. We pay for parking. And then we go up a floor and then down a floor. <laughs> it was real and weird. Then 
two floors up. I'm not quite sure on how many floors <laughs> so we many visited, floors. but a lot. <laughs> so then we find these people. They're just sitting chatting because, mind you, it is... 3.30 in the morning. 3.30. And it's empty. And we're like, oh, we're like, getting a little nervous. Shit, we didn't even think about that. Mm-mm. So we go, we ask them, we tell the story of why we're not with our bags. And um, they point us in the direction. The office is closed. We can see our bags. Yes, we can. And we're in the room. We're in the room. I just needed a key. We went they, back to the people. Yeah. And they say they open up at, what, 6.00? No, it was uh, 7.30 in the morning. Okay. Yeah. So we had four hours. Not enough time for us to hang out at the airport for another two and a half hours. So No. Or three and a half hours. So then we're like, okay, let's just go to the hotel. We'll be fine. We have Mm -hmm. the clothes that we're in. It's fine. It's fine. We'll we'll handle it. Yeah. So we put in the directions to the hotel. Yes, we do. And we get to the hotel. We're like, oh, this is a nice hotel. Well, and then we got lost because... I don't know how to read a map. And <laughs> well, we were delirious at that and, point. And we were very, I mean, and Melanie really, was very cranky. I was like, because I was like, I saw like the end in sight and I knew it was near us. But I was like, okay. <laughs> we just well, had to get past Orange Street. It was. And there's a lot of one ways. That was really annoying because we don't, you don't prepare for one ways if you don't live there. Like, yeah. you know what the one ways are like when you live there, but yes. you don't when you fucking stumble upon it and that you're is, like that is we're correct. like okay the hotel's to our right correct. but we can't turn right <laughs> we can only turn left or straight yes. and we're trying to figure out the map and she's like you need to go to orange and this and i'm like no idea she's like but uh, where i don't know what that means but where is orange street <laughs> i'm like i don't that? fucking know <laughs> so, so i'm trying not to anger the beast <laughs> at all so, so we good. finally get there yeah we get there and we get to the valet yeah give him the keys get our stuff out yeah and i have a shopping bag mm-hmm. which makes me look real classy <laughs> Because guys, this place looks so beautiful. But thanks, Zach, for that. Because he's very—he was very sweet and made sure I had a snack bag to go with me. He did. He was very sweet. Yeah. But I also carried a gar- uh yeah, a sack into a, a yeah. grocery store it's bag. It's fine. So we get in there and we're like, oh, we made it. Mel's like, we finally made it to the hotel. Yep. I was so excited. And, and the ladies looking up our names. Can't find us. Can't find us. So, so we look up the confirmation. As an attitude, I was kind of had an attitude. And I was like, nope, nope. I, my head, I, this is what I was thinking. It was like, nah, bitch. I got the confirmation <laughs> right like, here. We're staying here We're tonight. Fucking, it's bohemian. We're fucking here. There can't be more than one bohemian. You're ridiculous. No, boom. there is. I literally go, boom, here we go. And she's all, rock bohemian. And I was like, no. <laughs> There's two. <laughs> no. There is two. No, like two. There is one downtown Orlando and there is one in celebration. <laughs> yeah, 30 minutes away. 30 minutes. So we have nothing with us except for a garbage bag or a garbage. (laughs) Yeah, it looked like it. I literally, we have just equipment and our dresses. We have our dresses. Thank God. So as we're we're pulling out, though, it's really funny because as we're getting in the car, Kelly's like, do you want me to drive? And I was like, why? And she's like, you look annoyed. I'm like, I am annoyed, but no, it's fine. Yep. <laughs> and then like, and then I tried to reverse. Mel almost hits a pole. Yeah. Almost hit like a whole wall. Like he's like, turn more, it turn more. Concrete pole. And yeah. I was like, I am turning more. I'm like, this is not going to work. Yep. I, I literally, my brain was like, I might let this fucking guy just get in our car and fucking reverse this yeah, shit well, out. I thought about it. I, I thought, thought about, about it too. Mm-hmm. I was like, mm, I don't yep. want to deal with this bullshit garbage because I don't know. I'm thinking of the guy at the rental place like, should have got the liability. <laughs> Even though I know <laughs> I don't need it. In my head, I was like, that fucker is going to be right. I would be so fucking pissed at him. Oh my God. But no, like the guy guided me out. It was totally fine. And I'm like, Kelly, get on your maps. Let's go. And we did it. 30 minutes later, we got 30 to, minutes later. We got there. We, we got, got there. We got and there. we didn't care where the fuck we parked. We just parked no. in the first empty spot we, we had find. no idea if that was an okay parking. We're like, nope, nope this but is happening. We parked there the entire time. We did. Um, so then we walk into this hotel. Absolutely stunning hotel. Yeah. Stunning. Again. Super cute. I'm carrying a grocery bag. Yeah. It's fine. What's interesting is um no one to be found. Nobody's there. No one's there. Nobody's there at all. And so yeah, we can kind of like, should like, we go well, this way? Yeah. Should we go that way? I literally go, knock, knock. Is anyone- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, behind this curtain. And there's a bathroom. So we got to go to the bathroom yep. at least. It was a nice bathroom. We did. And then, you know, I was like, I'm going to call. The phone starts ringing in front of me. And I was like, awesome. Okay. Cool. So nobody's, nobody has physically has the phone. No. So I'm being loud because I don't really care. I mean, and rightfully so. It was like 15 minutes. It was 5.15 at this point. 
And the guy finally comes from the back. He does. He was pooping. He, was, he literally he told He told us. He was pooping. He's like, I'm so sorry. I was uh, pooping. <laughs> no, he said, I was going to the bathroom. Um, but he was pooping. He was definitely <laughs> pooping because we were there for 15 minutes. Yeah. Um, so then he gets us checked in. Very slowly. Very, very slowly. Like, he was learning. He was, he and was, he was said new. that. He, he was, was new. He's like, I'm new, blah, 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 whatever. Had and we're like, boss, whatever. I'm like, Texas you're, boss. I was like, you're calling your boss this early? Like, I'd be pissed. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, I already talked to this guy once because we were like, because he was like, maybe we should call them, make sure they don't like mess up a reservation. I'm like, good call. Call them up. He's like, well, I'm the only one here. Don't you worry. <laughs> Apparently, we had to worry about it. <gasps> oh, it so took then, him so long. Checks us in, get us, gets us our, our hotel keys. Mm-hmm. We were supposed to have a connecting room. We did not. We do not. We were next to each other, but not a connecting and room. ask me how much I gave a shit about that at almost 5.30 five, five in, in the morning. morning after we had been traveling for 26 hours. solid hours. Mm-hmm. And then Guys. I drank a coffee. Oh, man. So then I couldn't sleep. Yeah, guys, I... I know this sounds so bad, but I have never been sober over 24 hours before. It's always been a it drunken mess or some sort of high that's ridiculous. It gets me over 24 hours. It was awful. This is insane to be like trying to function and be calm. So then we got for that long of a time. I got three hours of sleep because you guys forgot about the bags again, didn't you? We had to go back <laughs> to Orlando. To get the fucking bags yeah. to the airport. Yeah. And I was like calculating the time in my brain because I'm like, okay, I have to be on for work 8 a.m. at least Pacific Center time, mm-hmm. which is 11 a.m. Mm-hmm. Florida time. Mm-hmm. And I finally go to bed around six in the morning. Yep. And I was like, that's five hours. That yep. should work. That should work just fine. No, I only get up at four. Because I can't fucking sleep. Mm-hmm. I talked to Eric for a hot minute. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, like couldn't sleep. Wake up. And I'm like trying to log on. And then Kel- I saw the text from Kelly saying like, tell me when you're up. Because she had the, blah, blah. Car keys, I had the car keys. Because I totally spaced grabbing them from her. And Eve. I knew that she had to get up eventually. So I was like, I'll just lay here until she's awake. Yeah. And, and I woke she up. was not functional. I had so much body pain because I didn't have my pills. You're like swollen. Yeah. I was so super swollen, all red. Like it was. Yeah, for it people was that don't. So bad. If you, anybody out there, which I know our patrons don't, but if anybody out there things that Kelly does not have these diseases, fuck your face. Yeah. <laughs> that was very clear. That was very obvious and very apparent. Like, yes. There's no yes. way around it. Yep. You were so fucking swollen and you, I could tell that like your brain just wasn't firing like, cause mm. you didn't get enough sleep. No. And I, mean, I got three hours. You got three hours. Three hours. Yeah. We both got three hours of sleep after traveling for 26 hours. Yep. And then I go over, I grab the keys from her. I'm letting her work. I drive to the airport. Mm -hmm. I knew exactly where I was going. I parked in the right spot, went down and up and down and sideways, wherever it needed to go. I found the office. He's like, can you show me your bags? Do and do. Can I have them? And he's like, yep, there's yours. I grabbed him, got in the elevator, got up uh, back. Somehow I made it back to the car, got them in the car. And then realized, shit, I should probably take my pills now. Mm-hmm. So then I got mine out of the car. Yeah. Opened it up in the middle of the parking lot, searching for my pills. They're in there. I find them. I don't have anything but old coffee to drink and take them with. So I take oh, them. Oh, that had with, a taste. So oh, it good. was great. <laughs> so then I took them. And because I was like, okay, if I take them now, by the time I get back to the hotel, they should be kicked in enough that I can take a nap. Yeah. That did not happen. It did not happen. Um, I mean, she took her pills. I and she messaged pills. me and told me, I got the bags. I'm yep. on my way back. Because what she doesn't know, what she, she I mean, she knew afterwards, is that I'm on hold <laughs> with American Airlines with the baggage people mm-hmm. for about 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. And I was like. Yeah, because you know, I was like, you need to call them mm-hmm. and make sure they're there. But I'm going to drive there at the same time. Yep. Because if they're not there, then I can just turn around and come back. But if they are there, I'm already halfway there. Yep. And I put them on speaker and I was just working away. Yep. And uh, no one ever answered yep. until I saw Kelly's text saying, I got our bags. I'm like, I just hung up. Yep. <laughs> I was like, You're okay, like, okay cool. that was a waste of time. <laughs> yep. So then I get back, give her her bag. I was so happy to have my bag and all my stuff. And it like. Totally exploded, and I still have a video for you guys of my hotel room and what happens when I am in a hotel room. And 
I laid there for probably four hours trying to take a nap and could not sleep. I know. That's crazy. Could not sleep. And so what happened? Oh, it was the event. Mm-hmm. So then. That's the thing that like a lot of people, even friends and family didn't realize is like, yeah, we got there at 5 a.m. We got about three to four hours of sleep. But we also had an event to be at. So we started getting ready at like two and, or three. Yeah. Which is like. The deal is like for you guys, like especially West Coast people, that's like 10 a.m., 11 a.m. Mm-hmm. That's like, why is that a big deal? No, no, no. Because we have to be there because Dr. D said 530. Mm-hmm. Be here by 530. Mm-hmm. We'll do all the things. All right. Cool. Cool, Dr. D. But like we're not getting into this late and what the time is. I have to work. Kelly's trying to like function. Yeah. And then we're like, hey, we need to start getting ready. Mm-hmm. Realizing it's because especially with all the situation, I notice like I move a little slower. I don't know about you, but like literally like getting into the shower and mm-hmm. then like just getting on the makeup and mm-hmm. like just doing the damn thing was like took way longer than mm-hmm. normal. I was yeah. like, why is this taking yeah. Yeah, so long? I don't know. I like, don't know. I had oh I gave myself a good two hours. solid three. No, mine oh. was three. So yours hours. was three, mine was two. And I still was not ready. Yeah, like we I had a call. I Stephanie all sorts of shit. Thank you, Stephanie. Stephanie from the Barrack to Society slash like One she's on our diaries. Yes, yeah. we all know her. I, I like, love her. I fucking called her and texted her and was like, Can you help me get Kelly in the stress? Because like I just didn't like you were fitting just fine. It's just I just like had no strength anymore. Well, like the I zipper felt, was so little oh my that God. there was no like you couldn't grip it to like move no. it up. And the stupid situation was I literally just put on lotion before you walked in. Yeah. So, like, my hands were so just slippery. And I was like, oh, I don't want her to think this is her. Yeah. No, I, knew I it can wasn't me fucking because it get her fit. in this thing. It's just like I need pliers or another pair of hands. And I was like, Stephanie's Stephanie. in the same hotel. Let's do yep. this shit. Yep. And they and ended up being, what, a floor down or were, something. Yeah, floor just a floor something. down, something like that. And she came over and helped us. Like, yes. it was amazing. It so, was just... It was just crazy. And then the trip home, guys, not one hiccup. Well, I mean, we didn't get yelled at. <laughs> what did we get yelled at, man? Really? The gentleman that's like, you guys talk too loud? <gasps> oh, God. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to skip ahead to the because, way home. Because, yeah, because you have to, this is the cherry yeah. on top of the, the travel weekend. Because everything was great. Yeah. The while l- we were there. Yeah. Everything was fantastic. The live was great. Dr. D was great. Mm-hmm. The whole dream event was great. We got to do all the things. Like, we got to meet Dr. Betas and his family. We got to record and a Duck Duck. Like, to, all yeah. the great moments. Great moments. It's just been traveling that was weird. Yeah. So then we get onto the, the airplane. Yeah. Yeah, and we do. We we both fall asleep. I've never fallen asleep in an airplane, and I finally fucking did. I was so exhausted, and we slept for like I slept for like two hours. Yeah, it was good. It was a good nap. Yeah. So then we wake up, and you know we're just sitting chatting, like like legit. I go to the bathroom, kind of goes to the bathroom. We get hot tea. Yeah, we're just sitting we're just there, talking. like holding holding our tea, just like we did on the way mm-hmm. to uh to Miami. Yeah, we just held our tea, had conversations, just chilling. We're good. So then mm-hmm. this guy. It's a lovely man. Lovely man. Not really. Middle row. Yeah. Comes around the side and looks at us dead in the eyes. And it's like, we're all really enjoying your conversation. <laughs> and I look at him. And as he walks by and I look at him out and I was like, I feel like that was sarcastic. You're like, I don't know if that's sarcastic or not. Yeah. And then we have like two girls in front of us that are both like 10 to 12 years yeah. old. Have no idea. Yeah. They turn around and one of them goes, he's just being a baby. And I was like. Oh, it must be her brother or something. Yeah, that's what we thought. All right, cool. No. No. They don't know him at all. At all. Well, and then he walks back by and flips us off. Yep. Yes, he does. And so Mel. Of course. I'm like, hey, bro. Yeah. What is that? Yeah. And then he tells us we're being rude and everybody everybody can hear us and they nobody appreciates it. And I'm like, who the fuck doesn't bring headphones? I literally go, bring, that's where you bring your earbuds, to, bro. Like, I'm, I was like, I'm sorry if, like, we were way too loud for you, but you should have earbuds. And we weren't being offensive. Yeah. We didn't Not, say anything no. offensive. No. So. so then all this happens, and we're getting off the plane. And this lady turns around. And she goes, really? He was mad at you for talking? Oh and we're like, yeah. What's even funnier is we have a podcast, podcast. where people listen to us. Yeah. So this all is the time. quite hilarious. Yes. So that which he was only four people in front of her. So he got to hear that. Yep. I was yep. very excited about yep. that. I'm not gonna lie. So that and everybody that stopped us, because there was probably had like a few four, four more that yeah. stopped us and were like, what was his problem? And yep. I was like, apparently we were talking. 
Talking too didn't, loud. Didn't know talking wasn't allowed on an airplane. And that was the end. That was the end of our, yeah. nothing else went wrong. No, we had breakfast. We had mimosas in Phoenix. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, then we got our flight home, mm-hmm. came home. That was all fine. Yes. Drove home. I showered. You shower. I don't know if you showered. I did not all. shower. I showered. And then we went to Arias and Gars and we did like a Christmas dinner. You guys met us there. Yep. We stayed and for like probably an hour? less than an hour. And I was like, I got to go. No, I'm I think tired. You're- I think you were right around an hour. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it was great. It was so much fun. I was, was just good. so tired. tired. I was so tired. So tired. Like, if somebody said something wrong to me, I probably would have just burst into tears. Oh, totally. Totally. Because I was in the shower just like wanting to cry. Mm-hmm. And then like you can tell that Eric and Dylan were like, what is taking her so long? Mm-hmm. And they came into the room and I looked at him. I was like, please don't. And he's like, what? And I was like, I've had a pretty... Pretty crazy travel week. Mm-hmm. It's gonna. It's just gonna take as long as it's gonna take. Four days, guys. This all happened in four days. And he's like, "Okay, all right, cool." And I was like, and then I see a text going out to Gar saying, "Like, not gonna be there for about an hour." Awesome. You're like, Eric for "Thank the you, win. thank Eric you, sir." For the win. Eric and for yeah, the win. put on yes. my makeup, put my fucking dress on. I felt I popped a B twelve, and I was like, "We're going." And even when Kelly got there, I was like, "Do you want a B 12 and I'm like, nope, I'm good. Because as soon as this is over, I'm going to sleep out. Yeah. And in like, and it was just funny because like her daughter wanted to go to like a, um, what is the one where you solve puzzles? Like escape room. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I will totally go to that, but not tonight. Nope. Not tonight. And she's like, what? And I was like, girl, I've been up for it. Cause like our flight was pretty early. Like mm-hmm. we've been up since like 4 a.m., 3 a.m. Mm-hmm. So like, and that, that was East Coast time, which is really midnight here. Mm-hmm. So like it was 10 o'clock here. I'm mm-hmm. like, I'm about to roll into 24 hours. Not going to be doing an escape yep. room. Nope. Not nope. happening, girlfriend. Not happening. You know, and, but like we ended the night well. Like I got, I got some really good sleep after that. Oh yeah. I, I slept was real out. good. Yeah. I was motherfucking out. I mean, my body was hating life. Mm-hmm. Hating life. Mm-hmm. But you know what? We did it and high five to us. Seriously. We made it through. We made it through. And guys, like we didn't, we didn't bicker. We weren't mean to each other. We just roll with the fucking punches. She was a little cranky and that's when I backed off a little bit. And when I was cranky, she backed off Mm -hmm. a little bit. We learned a lot about ourselves and it was our first solo trip. Yeah. And all that shit happened. So I can't wait for. We can fucking handle that. We can handle anything. Yeah, we're good. Cause like that was a shit show. Mm -hmm. And now we know we're like, Hey, when we see that there's going to be like only 30 minutes to an hour, we're just going to be like, let's we're go to different just bypass that yeah. that little thing no. because we're not doing that. We'll try shit to do anymore. some red eyes. And I will never fly American Airlines ever again. Yeah, no. Never. It's gonna, nope. No, no. You you have done lost our business, my friends. Yes. And we're going to be traveling. Only reason why I will use you for one more time is because I have 70,000 miles to mm. use. And that is it. Good luck with that. I know, right? Good luck. Oh. All right, guys. All right. We love you. And we will see you next, next time. time.